We told you earlier about that eruption emergency in Guatemala where a volcano has killed dozens of people and hundreds are still missing. Now, help is on the way from right here in South Florida. Local 10 News reporter Alex Finney is live at Miami International Airport with all the details. Alex. All right, well, hello to you guys. Well, first we know that there are volunteers heading there as we speak. The flight actually just took off here from Miami International Airport. The first thing they're gonna do when they get on the ground is meet with government officials to assess the damage and the need at this time. They're gonna be there 48 hours, and then they're gonna be returning to South Florida to pick up more volunteers, hopefully to head back by the top of next week. This is an assessment trip. However, they're prepared for whatever may come their way once that plane lands. You know, I saw this, I woke up yesterday, I saw this on my phone, uh, you know, meditating at sunrise, and, and uh, that's it. By 9 a.m. we made a decision. That, that decision was to travel to Guatemala to assist the thousands of people devastated by the Fuego tornado. The images surfacing impossible to ignore, with countless people missing and a death toll on the rise. The Global Empowerment Mission knew it was time to act and fast. You know, you got to be on the ground to really understand every single catastrophe is completely different. It has completely different needs. The need in Guatemala is urgent. GEM, this grassroots mission organization based in South Florida, will be bringing 1,500 gas masks. The volcano being described as the biggest eruption since the 70s. Robert Baldwin was there for the 1974 volcano. Uh, best way I can describe it is like being underneath an atomic blast. Just so such a, a huge cloud going up, you know, 30,000 feet. Baldwin taking his first-hand experience to Guatemala for this mission trip alongside other volunteers such as Lourdes Sanchez Breton. We go ahead and um, we go and we do medical and first aid and we try to save as many lives as possible. Imagine every single thing you own just turned to dust. Everything, all your clothes, your food, your pictures, there's nothing. They're, you know, they're lucky if they're alive. All right, now, Jem helped during Hurricane Irma and Maria, as well as the 2010 earthquake that hit Haiti. In addition to them, though, we also know that the Greater Miami Jewish Federation also is establishing a relief fund. Details on all of this on our website right now, local10.com. Coming to you live from Miami International Airport, Alex Finney, Local 10 News. Alex